gonna take them. Ew, I have a scary spider. Scary one? Yeah. Icky. Putting my eyelashes. Stuck to my bottom lash. I am getting ready. I'm about to film a video today and I'm gonna share a makeup tip with you guys in a little bit because on my Q&A last week and literally every week, I always get the question if I get my lips injected, which if you are, if you've been here for a while, you already know the answer to that question is no, never have I ever done that. But I'm gonna share some tips on just like how I apply my lip products. Obviously I overline my lips still to make them look bigger and have a couple tips and tricks, but my lips are 100% real. Like, I mean, no one accuses me of lying of that, but I just think about, oh, hopefully no one thinks I'm lying about that because that is literally the weirdest thing to lie about. Like. My mom watches these videos. My mom is on my social media. And if I was lying about that, she would be like, what the hell is wrong with you? And my friends that I grew up with see these things. Like, I, it's just, you can't keep with, up with that lie. Um, it's just not a lie. But anyways, I, before I show you that trick, or before I show you the makeup tricks, I do have a little haul here today from the Misguided Sean John collection that just came out. And I'm gonna share it with you guys. So thank you to Misguided for sponsoring this little bit of today's video. And as you guys know, the collab collections with Misguided are always so cool and they sell out really fast. So I wanted to share these cool pieces. I love the Sean John collection and we just all love Misguided here. So I'm gonna show you some bits. All right, so we have a bomber, like varsity jacket. Very cool, love this like cream kind of tan beige color. And then we also have like a little purple jersey, which is super cool. And then some more kind of like sand camel colored bits. So I'm gonna try these on and I'll show you guys in the mirror. And obviously this will all be linked in the description box for you to shop. All right, first is this like two piece set. That I showed you guys on the bed obviously already so this is that camel color it's like very close to my skin tone in the camera so it kind of looks like I'm naked but obviously I'm not it is so cute it fits so well I can't remember what size I got if these ran in like a zero two structure like small I think they did like a zero two and I think I got a zero in these like kind of biker shorts but they're more like intimate looking I would say like they have these cool cutouts and then with the bra top but you could obviously style these still for like street style like this whole outfit you could wear out and about I think if you're into like an edgier look or you could just lounge in it it is so comfy it's very flattering and I think I got a two in this little bra top it fits really nicely and this is all ribbed material as well and then it's just got the little logos on it so cute this is what back looks like so really like this and then these are some little underwear that you could also wear with this set they're like high-waisted so instead of the shorts you could wear these they're the same material so nice little ribbed kind of like camel tan color with the white detailing and then the logo in the same color so really cute and I got these in a two this is a little like jersey t-shirt dress so I got this in a size four which is normally what I get in my misguided top especially when I want them to be a little oversized so I knew I wanted this one to be like pretty oversized just because it's like a t-shirt dress vibe and it's really cool like street style with the jersey inspiration so I got this in the US 4 and it is so comfy it's so soft I also love this purple color especially for spring and summer I think that it's just so pretty and I think this would be cute with just like my Air Force ones and maybe some like scrunchy sock back is just plain and it's not see-through I wouldn't say. I mean, I wouldn't go do like squats in it, but just really comfy. I feel like this is really good to just throw on over a bathing suit too, like as a cover up, kind of like sporty, sporty spice cover up. So really cute. So comfy. Okay, this one is going to be my favorite, I think. I just had to share the pants real quick on their own. So these are the misguided pants that I've had for a couple of months. They are like my favorite pair of faux leather pants. 
to wear them with like a little heel or heel booty. It's really hard to balance <laughs> my tippy toes. <laughs> they fit so well. I get a two in these and they just restocked. So what it looks like with heels. I wanted to share these and they have them in black as well, which I just ordered. So these look really cute with this ribbed crop top. And then I'm going to try on the jacket as like a whole little tan neutral outfit okay so here is the jacket and these varsity like bomber vintage inspired kind of like letterman style jackets are so popular right now i see them all over pinterest they're so cute and i love the colors of this one it's just a really nice like creamy beige neutral tone and it's got really cute details, obviously with the patches, John John 98. And here's another little logo. This sleeve has the New York on it. It's just so good. And then the back just has the Sean John logo. And I think that this is so cute, like with the pants. Okay, so hard to balance on my tippy toes. But then like the little bra and it's like an oversized and then like fitted everywhere else vibe. So I got this in a size US six to make it like a little extra oversized. So I think that this is just so cute. And that's everything. So like I said, I will link this stuff in the description box for you guys. You can shop it before it sells out. And now let's look at some makeup tips. All right, so here is to the juicy, juicy uh, lip tip portion of this video. So yeah, like I said, I don't get my lips done. I've never had my lips done. These are my natural lips and I do use makeup to make them look bigger. And these tips should be able to work for everyone. Everyone's face and lips are different obviously, but I just wanted to share what I do and I hopefully I hope it can help people. So I am gonna start by contouring my lips. I have this little angled like contour brush. This is from Luxie and the Huda, no, this is a, uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I'm just using like the darkest contour and just gonna do kind of like you would do with lip liner on the bottom lip and then this brush is a little bit fluffier on the other side I'm just gonna kind of buff that out. Sometimes I do the top lip too but th that's like a harder area. I don't know why I just started doing it. I was like about to say that I'm not doing it and I just went for it. Uh, <laughs> The top lip is harder to contour. It gets like dirtier looking way easy, easier. So I just did like a tiny bit on the corners. Okay, so after that, and there's so many different ways to make your lips look bigger. I've seen like so many cool things on TikTok. A lot of people use like concealer over their lips and they conceal their whole lips so that it's basically like a blank canvas and then they just like draw the lips that they want on there. I don't do that. I don't know how to do that. But this is just, that's just proof that there's so many different ways to do it. So, I am now going to go in with my liner and we're going to overline. I think I'm going to use this one today, the Buxom Plump Line Lip Liner in Undercover. I also brought over this one from ColourPop in the shade Lumiere, which I really like. I love the ColourPop ones because they're really creamy. I love this Buxom one because it's really big. It's like a crayon and it's really easy to work with. So... What you want to focus on when you're overlining your lips is you overline like the middle area the most um, And then like the corners you do less because it's just easier to make this area look like the illusion of being fuller so Kind of like the same spot where we did the contour Just gonna round out that part and then corners you just go more towards your actual lip line so that's first starting and then for the top kind of do the same thing so another thing i change the way i do my lips like every single day you can do more of like a defined cupid's bow or you can like round it out which looks really full you can do something in between so there's so many different ways to do it i'm gonna do it like more round today because that gives a nice really pouty look just like that the top i overline less than the bottom because actually I think my top lip is a little bit like fuller than my bottom lip and 
sometimes I just want it to look more like even. And I find it's easier to overline the bottom lip than it is the top. Just kind of just focusing on that being like a round, like pouty shape in the center. Okay, and then kind of fill in the corners a bit. This is like a contour effect. And then something else I love to do for like a contour effect is a line down the center. You can do the top or the bottom or both. Um, I usually just do at the bottom. Like that. Makes it like really pouty looking. So, looking pretty weird right now. Then I'm gonna go in with the lipstick. So I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty in Rendezvous. This is just like a nice pink. It's kind of like close to my natural lip color, a little pinker and more pigmented. So I'm gonna go in with this and I don't really swipe my lipstick. I kind of like to pat it. I feel like it just distributes the product more in the way that I want it to be. I don't like a lot of, like, I don't know. I don't want a ton of product on my lip, actually, believe it or not. So that looks pretty good to me. And then I'm gonna take a lighter color for the center, which is again, like a highlighting and contouring trick to make it look fuller in there and bigger in the center. So this is NYX in the shade Shy. Same thing, just kind of pat that, but focus it on the center. Okay, and then last step is putting a gloss on. I feel like makes your lips look just juicier and bigger. I don't wear glass every day. It's kind of like a mood thing for me if I'm in a glossy mood or not but it is a really good tip, I think, for kind of just enhancing the overall plumpness of your lips. So I'm gonna show you guys today. And I'm gonna use the Iconic London, this is not actually a gloss, it's an oil. It's a lip oil in the shade Queen Bee. I'm obsessed with these lip oils. And that's it. So hopefully that helped you guys. Just really quick, easy, simple tips. And I also change like my lip recipe every day. So the products that I'm using. So if you guys like this and you like seeing the products and everything over on Instagram, I'll share a lot of lip recipes and I can start sharing more. I thought I saw a spider. Um, looked for the third time to confirm. Fourth time, it's not a spider. But yeah, I can start sharing more of these on here too, or just little fun tutorials like this, um, really quick and easy in the weekly vlog. So let me know if you guys like this, and let me know if you try these tips and how they work for you. And Good morning. We are about to head out and go to the beach. I'm gonna go for a little run. Um, Sorry, my eyebrows are orange right now. I put self tan on my face and I forgot to wipe it off my brows. So now they're orange. Um, every time this happens, people are like, oh my God, your eyebrows are orange. Is your, are you a natural redhead? My best friend is back home. That's beside the point. So I look like a little troll and Please enter your passcode. Okay. So, headed to the beach for a run. And we usually ride our bike there, but we are going to take the car today because we're running a little behind. Peyton was a sleepy little guy this morning. And I didn't want to wake him up. Well, I ended up waking him up eventually, but I didn't want to make him like 
I don't know. I tried to tried to not wake him up is what I'm trying to say. Okay. So yeah, we like to I like to run at the beach better than on the sand I mean better than on the street. I have been running now for I don't know, probably like a month. If you guys follow on Instagram, you probably have noticed that by now. I made like a little uh, highlight for running and I just talk about it on my stories from time to time. So I've been doing it for about a month and I like it. I'm not naturally like a runner. I'm not the person who's like always been obsessed with running or anything, but I explained over on Instagram before, I used to do the Stairmaster three times a day for like 30 minutes and that was my cardio for the week. And ever since the pandemic, I realized I don't do as much cardio. I go on tons of walks, which is like my favorite thing ever, but I wanted something that was a little more cardiovascular in my workout schedule. And instead of doing like high intensity workouts or, or high intensity interval training something like that I just decided to do like a more traditional cardio so I chose running and I'm happy with it I feel like it's really good for my body and fitness goals wise I do want to just like lean out my muscle like I don't want to lose weight I just want I actually want to gain weight like I don't mind if the, I actually don't have a scale so I don't even know how much I weigh, but I wouldn't mind if the number on the scale got higher. I just want to get stronger and have like lean muscle. So I'm working out and lifting weights still every week and then running as well for, for that goal. And the way that I do the running is I do it three times a week is my goal right now. I started in mind with three to four times a week, but I realized that three was really kind of a lot as is. So I don't do four. I do three pretty much every week and I go for 30 minutes. So I don't even, I actually never even check my phone to see how far I've run. I just set a timer for 30 minutes and make sure to do 30 minutes every time. And I usually don't stop when I'm running, but I'm not running super fast. Like it's just kind of a jog. So that's kind of the way I do it. And when I go to the beach, I run barefoot because it helps strengthen like the little tendons and muscles in your feet and ankles, which is something I want to work on. And then when I run on the street, I don't run barefoot. Although people do do that. When I talked about running barefoot on Instagram, a lot of you DM'd me about it and a lot of people thought it was like, the craziest thing they've ever heard. And then a lot of people told me that they've seen people at marathons like running barefoot and apparently marathons? there's yeah, huh? there's a book called Born to Run that's all about like running barefoot. So it's a thing, you know, do what works for you. I'll do what works for me. I might run barefoot on the street sometimes and we'll see. On the street? I actually like to walk barefoot a lot. Yeah, you see? You would like it. It really gets your feet sore though. Like the first week of running barefoot on the sand, my feet were so sore, like in the weirdest way. Just because muscles that don't normally do anything in my feet were just firing for 30 minutes straight, you know? Mm -hmm. You would sit cream on your chin, do you care? I'm still letting it work. <laughs> okay. You can blend that one out. Oh yeah. I don't know if it was so well since you put it on last night. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, and Clayton comes with me because we're just a package deal. And like he the, likes to, what babe? Just like a kangaroo. I thought you saw a spider. Kangaroo with a little pouch. We never told you guys that there's been so many spider webs in our car. Yeah, we had spiders in the car. No, we didn't have spiders in the car. We had spider web in the car everywhere but i haven't seen it since that yeah we haven't seen the web and we never saw the spider but whoa. so i think he came and webbed up the car and left, and left. Oh, I hope or, so. or died of natural causes yeah everyone was scared like literally that was really weird everyone was literally scared we were just like driving around and started noticing there was like webs everywhere well the first one was that there was a web hanging off my straw in my drink and we were like what the hell is that that we had like just gotten yeah we're like uh... and then we started looking around and like the windshield just had webs it, they, along were, they it. were closing in on us like they were trying to eat us they were trying to web our ass good thing they weren't here when he was webbing or else we would have been webbed up no, we that's what they it. do right they web no things fly into their web really and then they web it more yeah it's so like a, we were really scared it's like a net i, I was really so scared. we would have to run into the net 
Yeah. Good thing we didn't. Because mm -hmm. we would have gotten eaten for sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my Molly. But yeah, so Clayton comes. He, he gets a little zen time on the beach. Did you bring your book? I brought my book. It's when he gets his reading in. Yeah. And I did that thing where I went in and out of the house like seven times, times uh -huh. before. <laughs> Anybody else do that? And your brother. Yeah, it's a big thing in my family. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's kind of the situation with the running right now. I'll I'll stick with it as long as I see fit. I do kind of not like that running is pretty high impact. On the beach. It's not great. It's, well, on the beach it's better. On the beach it's better. Yeah, that's why I don't really like doing it on the street because I am like arthritis prone and my knees and joints and everything actually already hurt. So like running is pretty, pretty stupid for me to do on the street, but you know, I'm a terrible swimmer. So we're not doing that. We are not doing that. <laughs> go, go. I mean, swimming's fun. Yeah, it's kind of nice, but like you have to have a so you have to have a nice pool to go to, and we I'm don't so have that right now. And it's inconvenient to get wet. Yeah, it's like a it's an ordeal. Yeah, um, but I was talking to my brother about it the other day. He's been rowing, and like like on the rowing machine. Yeah, yeah, and he said he's lost like eight pounds or something a week from rowing. Rowing's like, kind of well, boring. I'll be honest. I don't mind it. In the same spot. Yeah, but the, where I used to row, there was a TV. There was like a giant TV right there, and it was like the only one. Like so it was just for the rowing machine. Yeah. And I would just like put on Bravo. And row. Can be worse. <laughs> yeah. So that's what we're currently doing for cardio, but we are not committed to anything forever. Never. In this. This world. <laughs> This is who we are now. <laughs> Might not be who I am in a week. Literally. Just got home from the beach, went on another little run, and now we are gonna have some breakfast. Life is all about balance, right? So, just went on a run, and now we're gonna have, what do they call these? Cherry turnovers. Cherry turnovers. So, my nose is runny. Last night we went to Whole Foods, and we found these cherry turnovers, and the ingredients, didn't have anything in them that wasn't vegan, so. And these are vegan donut holes. They even said vegan on the top. That's how I spotted them. Well. Spotted them. Vegan donut holes. So. Y'all know I'm not passing up on a vegan donut hole. Oh, oh yeah. Ew, are you tweaking? Easy. I have one. I was just excited. Have one. Smell like donuts. That looks disgusting to me. <laughs> I really don't, I'm not into that. How is it? Good. It's good. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to act in general? I don't think so. Okay, but also, everyone always thinks out that we don't have a microwave. They're like really concerned for us. Like, oh my god. How do you live without a microwave? But it's really easy. No microwave around right here. The stove and the oven do everything. The heat things. You need. So, do we want the turnovers warm? You want to warm them up? Okay. Gonna pop these into the oven. A little semi warm. Pop, pop. Oh, and we got some vegan whipped cream to put on top. Like, hello. We also got these almond milk, chocolate, and vanilla pudding yesterday at Whole Foods. We were just, we just went in there to get like two things for dinner. And then we decided yeah. to take like a little tour and see if there was anything random that we wanted. So, you know, we ended up with some weird stuff. 
Oh, so we wrapped some oat leaf. That's not exciting. Not the most exciting. exciting part was the pudding, the donut holes, the whipped cream, and the turnovers. Oh, well, we got these in the mail yesterday, too. I haven't tried them yet. They're called midday squares. Everyone said the peanut butter is the best flavor. So we gotta try these. And this they're is from ya. Montreal, and so many people oh, on Instagram are like MTL. stoked about that. I think Montreal has like a tight knit community or something. What's up, Montreal? What's up? Are you an MC? What's up, Montreal? It's your boy. <laughs> Shout out, Montreal. What's up, Montreal? It's 8 a.m. Okay. Oh yeah, turn over time, turn up. Okay. You know I need a cup of coffee for this break. Ew. Be right back, fam. Yucky. Why is this working? Give me a hell of a time. Really? There it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Go. Spotify sucks. Say that again. Really? You really think Spotify sucks? I think Pandora's better. Let's have a chat. That is that is an unpopular opinion. I'm well aware of that. It just. You think? Oh, yeah. It's all good. What? Oh, that was close. Do you want me to just not react when you do something like that? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay. You have an eye booger in your Why? eye area? See, there's it creams or eye boogers around here. All right, enlighten me. What? What? Why is Pandora better than Spotify? Okay. Alexa, turn it down. So, this is just example A but refers to this moment. You just asked um, Spotify to play Spring Jazz and she plays one song by one artist. If I ask Pandora to play Spring Jazz, she'll play me a whole playlist. So it's a My, mix of, it's not just, it has to do with Alexa. Yeah, I think that's an Alexa issue. Well, you it are, is, but it's, the platform when she uses, you still have the eye booger, by the way. What the hell? No, it's the other eye. Oh. But yeah, when I use Alexa on Pandora, it works. You mean Pandora on Alexa? Yeah. But you're even the type of person that would sit down at their computer and put on a Pandora station uh -huh. and go uh -huh. to Spotify. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because they're, well, specifically. You can't pick any song you want. No, but it's the best for me for jazz because I love jazz so much, but I don't know songs or artists. So it's like doing all the work for me. That's true. I see that for jazz. I can see where that, if you're not a, don't know the artist, mm -hmm. but you like the type of music. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's better for discovery purposes. It is for sure. It's like that's where we discovered Lainey. Mm -hmm. I discovered Lainey. You. I signed them. You signed them? <laughs> I scouted them. I think Spotify is better. Everyone Way does. Way better. Everyone does. I am, I am definitely, what's it called? Well, you're not like against Spotify. No. But see, now that is over, that was your spring playlist. That sucked. That was the only song. Now ask her to do it on Pandora. Alexa. Play Spring Jazz on Pandora. What do you think of the turnover? All right, that's gonna end this vlog. People have always been saying, <clears throat> why do your vlogs end so suddenly? What about? Somebody recently said like outro. Oh, I know, I saw that. So this is the outro, guys. Thank you for joining. It was we used really... to say bye. Yeah, we said bye for a while. We used to sign off. Sometimes we'd sign off, sometimes we'd just disappear. Like we were on a sports yep. show. And that's it, guys. Thank you for joining. <laughs> Dang. This was your evening news. I want to be on a sports show. I want to be Shaq. No, I watched a documentary about Shaq joining that show. Really? Yeah. Pretty cool. So it was a possible. It was actually a documentary about this show, because that's like the highest rated show. 
sports show. Before even Shaq was there. And then getting Shaq. Why? Out, they just have like really good chemistry. Like no other, no other show. Everybody's trying to be like them. You know how they just laugh from, you know, joke around and laugh yeah. all the time? Why can't nobody else do that? Nobody has a chemistry, nobody like, has a... Why can't you be chill? Yeah. That's crazy. I think I should be on it. Yeah, I don't know if you'd vibe. Are you kidding me?